I'm gonna show you the best way to edit vertical video in iMovie. And it doesn't involve any crazy hacks like rotating your footage like I've shown in some of my other videos. On top of that, with a method I'm gonna show you, you can bring in landscape videos and convert them into vertical videos. And you'll also be able to add titles to your vertical videos right inside of iMovie. It's pretty much everything you've been asking for. Let's jump in. So here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.3.5. So the first thing we need to do is set up our vertical video project properly here in iMovie. And to do that, I'll go up and select projects at the top of the interface to get the project browser. So here's where we create new projects or editing timelines in iMovie. Now, typically you'd go over here and select create new and then select movie. We don't want to do that because that'll create the typical landscape oriented project. To create our vertical editing project, we need to go up and select File, New App Preview. What is an app preview? Well, let's find out. I'll select it and we get this pop-up window. App Previews. This feature lets developers create app previews for the App Store using titles and graphics designed to showcase their apps. But you can also use App Preview Mode to make good old fashioned videos. And in our case, vertical videos. I'll hit OK. And here we are in what looks like the regular iMovie editing interface, and it pretty much is. And here's our project called App Preview. Now you can rename it by going back into Projects. You may need to refresh the window to see it. Hover over it, then select the button with the three dots and select Rename from the menu, just like you would any other project in iMovie. I'll rename this Vertical Video Demo. I'll double click it to open it up again. All right. To get started editing our vertical video natively here in iMovie, we need to take one very, very important step first. The first video we drop onto the timeline down here must, I repeat, must be a vertical video. If you drop a horizontal video or landscape video on this timeline, your project will set to typical landscape orientation. And that's it. So I'm first going to import some vertical video shot on my iPhone to set up my project. I'll drag and drop it from the finder. I just airdrop this clip from my iPhone over to my Mac. Now I'll select my vertical video, then hit the E key to drop it onto the timeline. And as I scrub the timeline, you can see the preview window is vertical, not the typical horizontal orientation. We are editing a vertical video now. And to prove it to you, I'll go down and select the project settings. And you can see our project is 1080 by 1920, vertical or portrait orientation. So now we can edit our vertical footage like we would our landscape footage in iMovie. You can use all the editing tools. You can do color correction, speed changes, you can use the precision editor. You can use the clip trimmer. You can even use the Ken Burns zoom on your vertical video footage. Pretty sweet, huh? It gets better. I'm going to import a landscape video clip into my media browser by dragging and dropping it from the finder. I'll select my landscape video, then hit the E key to drop it into the timeline after my vertical footage. Now watch, I'll scrub over my landscape footage in the timeline and you can see it's been fit into my vertical project. But wait a second, it's off center. The subject of this shot, me, is out of frame, not a problem. I'll go up to the toolbar above the preview window and you can see the crop tool is highlighted. I'll select it and you see crop to fill is selected and we have the crop to fill bounding box. I'll just click and drag it over to center my subject and hit the blue check mark to lock it in. And there it is. Now keep in mind, I'm just gonna go back to the crop to fill the landscape footage is being zoomed up or blown up to fit the vertical frame. So if you're making a 1080 by 1920 vertical video and you don't want to sacrifice resolution, you'll want to record your landscape footage in 4K. That aside, you can now easily convert landscape video into vertical video in iMovie, as long as the first clip in your timeline is a vertical video clip. Now you can always delete the first vertical setup clip, as I like to call it, after you've dropped your landscape footage into the timeline and your project will remain vertical. And like the natively vertical footage in the timeline, you can use all of iMovie's editing tools with your cropped landscape video, even the Ken Burns zoom effect.
But wait a minute, Mike, what about titles? Do those work in this app preview mode? Yes, they do. However, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. I'll go up and select titles to select the title browser. And you can see there is a limited and very different set of titles to choose from in app preview mode. The same goes for backgrounds. You only get a set of solid backgrounds to work with. Now the titles aren't terrible. There are some interesting choices. Some have animation and they're editable. So you can change the color of the backgrounds of the text. You can change fonts, font size, and some titles are even movable. All right, finally, let's export our vertical video so we can share it. Exporting is just like exporting a default iMovie project. Just go up to the top right and select the share button. And from the menu, select export file, not app preview, export file. You get the familiar export dialog. Select your export settings, name your file, set a save location and hit save. All right, let's have a look at the final exported vertical video. I'll open it up using Quick Look by hitting the space bar on my keyboard. You know, making an effective channel trailer forces you to... And there's our vertical video, ready to be uploaded to YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels or TikTok. If you're looking for ways to spice up your vertical videos in iMovie, have a look at these other videos on my channel.